Hey guys, what's going on? McMull2 here. Welcome back. Today we are going through the marquee event for the Imperial Super Commando. I'll be narrating over it as my team fights through. As you can see, I'm using a mostly Empire team. For some reason, I decided to throw Nihilus and Bayes in. I'm not really sure why I decided to do that. I'll do much better for the Gar Saxon event. But yeah, this is the event to unlock Imperial Super Commando. He is a attacker role in the Empire. Just the Empire and attacker tags on him. I'll be discussing his kit, I'll go over possible synergies with him, with other Empire characters, and other characters beyond that, and then what squads he may be able to work in. So yeah, he uh, he is an attacker, he's got a basic, he has one special ability, and he has unique. His basic attack is called Seize the Advantage, at, it has an Omega upgrade, and it deals physical damage to the target with 70% chance to inflict offense down for two turns. The Omega adds plus 50% damage and allows him to attack again if the target has less than 50% turn meter. His special is called Superior Tactics. It is a two turn cooldown. It deals physical damage to target enemy, dispels buffs on them, and inflicts buff immunity for two turns. So he's basically a B2 battle droid light. He, um, he won't do the AoE dispel and buff immunity, but he does the same thing. It's on a short cooldown as well. So it's kind of competitive for B2, but he uh, it's nice to have him there because there's just just a couple of other Dispellers for the Empire. I believe there's Death Trooper, but there's no one for the Empire that does Dispel and Buff Immunity on one. And then he has his unique called Upper Hand, also has an Omega upgrade. Imperial Super Commando has plus 65% counter chance and gains 50% offense for each enemy with no buffs. So this ties in to both of his other abilities, where his superior tactics does a dispel and buff immunity, so that target cannot gain any buffs, so that'll be a 50% bonus offense right there for the commando. And then the 65% counter chance ties back into his seize the advantage, where if he counters against someone, he will do a double tap because the target already has 0% turn meter because it just took a turn. So he will automatically do a guaranteed double tap against a target when he counters. So that's nice to have. He um, His basic doesn't have that much of impressive damage, has under 4,000, so not, uh, not too impressive there. Um, his, his special ability does a bit more, so that'll be, that'll be good to have. In terms of his basic attack dealing offense down, there is a couple other characters that can do it in the game right now on their basics, like, um, I'm sorry, uh, Hoth Rebel Soldier, which no one uses. You have IG-100, Magna Gar can also do offense down on his basic. Jawa Scavenger has, a uh, has to do a critical hit to do it. G K2SO can also do it. So there's a couple other characters that have offense down on their basics, but there's no one else for the Empire who can do that. So it's a nice debuff to add to the arsenal for your for your Empire team. So that one has to have plus the dispel and buff immunity. He can combine with TIE Fighter Pilot, just get buff immunities out on everyone. Just kind of lock down everything, keep the other team from getting buffs to help them out. Since buffs are so reliant now, you have to rely so much on buffs, especially if you're fighting up against a um, Darth Maul team, getting that buff immunity in there kind of helps. Um, they can't, uh, like your Darth Maul teams can't stealth, for example. So, yeah, that's nice to have. In terms of overall stats, he is a strength based character. His speed is at 121, so he's a little bit slow. His physical damage is at 2385, and his physical crit rain will even out to about 30% for him. So, he'll, uh, he doesn't have much damage overall, but and same with the physical crit damage or physical crit chance his arm penetration is also pretty low at 41 but he does have 34 percent potency he has a decent amount of potency so you'll at least be able to get his debuffs to stick in terms of his defensive stats he's a bit tanky he's got 24,000 health 23,000 protection 267 armor which puts him in the top 15 to 20 characters in terms of armor so he's going to have a nice amount there. He's got 10% health steal, and he has 29% potency. So he can take a couple hits. He'll uh, he'll be able to counter, so you don't have to worry about trying to keep him alive so much. He'll be able to take a couple hits, counter out, deal some damage, get that offense down. He'll definitely he'll definitely be able to help you out to stay alive. So definitely keep, a, keep an eye on him with that. Um, in terms of synergy with other characters, he's got Gar Saxon, which we'll cover more in that video, of course. But beyond that, he doesn't necessarily need to be in an Empire squad 
he doesn't have any synergies that require him to be with Empire characters. So you can use him wherever. The offense down on basic again, it's a very good thing to have. And that counter chance, also nice to have. So yeah, definitely, uh, definitely think about using him outside of a team that's Empire. His Otis offense with enemies with no buffs, that's, um, I mean, as I said before, get buff immunity, so B2, TIE Fighter Pilot would also be good characters to have around him, because they can prevent those buffs, that gives him all that bonus offense. So if you're running against a team with, uh, with everyone having no buffs, that is a good 75% bonus offense, so that's going to make up for the damage that he's lacking on. So he's, he's going he's gonna to have some use with fighting teams that can't get buffed so definitely definitely fight definitely use him there in terms of weaknesses overall you to covered he has low damage he has low damage starting out but if you're fighting against a team with tenacity up like your rex and your chase teams you're gonna have a hard time using him there um you could use him with a general kenobi so that he can at least he has the guaranteed counter chance so you've got that um but yeah definitely uh definitely think about using him with uh, with someone who can help him prevent buffs on the other team. So AOE dispels like Baze, B2, Echo. If you're feeling uh, if you're feeling a little risky, you wanna feel if you wanna be a little dangerous, you wanna be a maverick. Try try Echo in your in your AOE dispel. That's uh you're not gonna have a good time with that. But yeah, uh, he's uh, as I've said before, he's definitely a good character to try out. So keep that keep that in mind. In terms of gear, he is a absolute gear hog. He needs 1,430 purple pieces. That includes a whopping 180 Mark IV of the um, Mark IV laptops, keypads, whatever you want to call them. He also needs five Mark III Carbontes, or excuse me, four Mark III Carbontes, four Mark III Zerka stun cuffs, and then four, three Mark V stun guns, and three Mark VI of the Chuwap. Hypo syringes, so he's gonna need a lot of gear. He's gonna need a lot of gear. He's only gonna need two raid pieces, one of them being a Mark V Fusion Furnace, and the other one is um, something I can't find off the top of my head right now. I've got some message to me on Discord. Let's mute that. So, yeah, um, in terms of gear, he's gonna be a bit of a hard grind, so just be wary of that as you're going in. But, anyways, guys, that's about it for me. So, yeah, definitely definitely don't sleep on this guy. But, anyways, guys, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Keep an eye out for more content in the future. I'll be doing the Gar Saxon video as well. So, yeah, definitely definitely keep an eye out for all that stuff here in the future as it goes on. Um, as you can see here in the event right now, you've got, uh, you've got Kanan and Ezra as your final fight. So, the trick is there, you want to debuff them and then go from there. But, uh... Yeah, getting debuffs on them gives them, make sure that they don't do as much damage and they don't resist as much. So, definitely uh, definitely a fun event. I really enjoyed fighting the Phoenix characters, especially since uh, no one likes the Phoenix characters because apparently they're really, really bad this game. But anyways, guys, as always, um, like, share, and subscribe. Keep an eye out for more content. And yeah, I will, uh, I will talk to you guys later.